every podcasting journey starts with a passion and a desire to make your voice heard. Now, the harder part is finding a software that makes it easier, not harder, to share that passion with the world. That's why today I'm reviewing the top five podcast audio and video recording software so you can start creating. Hey, I'm Amy. So whether you want an audio podcast or a video podcast, using the wrong software could mean you don't ever actually publish an episode. While using the right software could mean that you actually have a podcast. Okay, now before we cover some super niche software that lets you, I don't know, communicate with the spirits of the damned or something like that, let's talk about the titan of the industry, Adobe. Adobe Audition has been kicking around in some form or another since the year 2000. And in the years since then, truly they've built a fantastic product. Audition is incredibly feature rich. You can record your podcast and then mix and match your voice to your heart's content. You could even use it if you wanted to, to professionally mix music. Now, the problem is that all of these features make Adobe really difficult to learn. I mean, look at this. Do you see what I mean? Honestly, the learning curve is the biggest issue with most of Adobe's products. I've been in the podcasting world for a long time. Using Adobe stresses me out. There's a lot to learn. However, if you are super tech savvy and you have six months or so to learn a new software on your own, Audition could be the perfect fit for you. Pricing for Audition starts at $20.99 a month, which sounds great at first, but there's a couple caveats. Want to start a video podcast? Audition doesn't do it. What you actually need is called Premiere Pro, which is another $20 a month. And if you want to add some cool animations to that video podcast, great, another $20 a month. One of the big problems with Adobe Audition, despite its plethora of features, is its limited video podcasting capabilities, unless you're willing to fork over $59.99 for their cloud plan. While Audition is amazing if you are an audiophile or an engineer, it might not be the best fit if you are new to Adobe, maybe new to the podcasting and recording world, taking things a little bit more casually. Maybe you're just recording with a couple friends or some colleagues. But if you're already in the Adobe family, you love diving into all of those different features and taking the time to learn them, Audition might be a good fit for you. Next up on the list is yours truly, Podcastle. If you're even somewhat aware of the video you're on and the channel that it's linked to, you might think that I'm going to throw every other software under the bus and praise Podcastle only to the high heavens. I promise you, I'm not going to do that. Now, just like all of these softwares, Podcastle has pros and cons, so let's get the cons out of the way first. Now, Podcastle does not have all of the fancy buttons, sliders, all of those fancy graphs that you might see with Audition. It has all of the important features, but you're probably not going to be able to mix a Grammy-winning album on there. Newsflash, Podcastle is not made to produce albums, but rather audio and video with ease and simplicity. What Podcastle does have is everything you need to record, edit, and publish your podcast from start to finish on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you want to publish your podcast episodes. Our customers love that Podcastle does everything from start to finish, including free hosting. Now, if you're like me and you're a one woman show, maybe one man show, and you're just getting started doing things all on your own, you can literally click one button and you'll be able to record both audio and video and get that buttery smooth sound. And if you're a team of coworkers trying to collaborate together, you wanna share what you know, you can use Podcastle for Teams in our team workspace to collaborate effortlessly together. Plus, you can easily add name tags and other graphics without having to use any extra tools. And if you're like me and learning a new software gives you mega anxiety, fear not, because Podcastle's AI features allow for instant audio mixing and background noise removal. And did I mention that you can get started with Podcastle for free? I'll leave a link to our full tutorial in the description below. Now let's talk about pricing. Podcastle has three main plans. The first is our basic plan. That is totally free to use. You don't even need to enter in your credit card information. The second is our storyteller plan. The storyteller plan is great for hobbyist podcasters or who are just getting their toes wet. They don't really need all the bells and whistles. And that is $11.99 per month. And the last one is Podcastle Pro. This is for podcasters who are professional creatives that are really looking to maximize their voice. Podcastle Pro is $23.99 a month. 
And don't forget, you can try Podcastle Pro 50% off your first month by using the code in the description below. Next up on the list is Audacity. Kidding, it's actually Riverside because I have the audacity to make you wait just a little bit longer to hear about Audacity. I'm full of dad jokes today. Anyways, Riverside is a very interesting choice for podcast recording. Unlike Adobe and very similar to Podcastle, Riverside is designed from the ground up with podcasting in mind, but let's talk about what Riverside has going for it. Similar to Podcastle, Riverside has incredibly high audio recording as well as built-in video recording. Even features like automatic backups make sure that you don't miss out on your latest episode. It also helps that the software is super beautiful. Honestly, the design team did a great job making it look super slick. But looking slick and being slick are two very different things and that's where they start to fall apart a little bit. Riverside is a recording platform and that is what they are truly great at. Where things kind of start to fall apart a little bit is in the editing phase. The interface can be a little bit difficult to navigate and the editing tools just aren't quite where they need to be. With Riverside, you can't really get into the nitty gritty of editing. Some podcasters online had a bit of difficulty navigating the platform, but that was a year ago, so I'm sure it's smooth sailing by now. And while Riverside is similar to Podcastle, it does not include hosting or podcast publishing. The price points are quite similar with Riverside's basic plan starting at just three bucks more a month. Overall, Riverside is a great looking podcasting software. And once they tighten things up just a little bit, no shade, I'll be able to highly recommend them to amateur podcasters. Next up on the list is Descript. Now Descript has been around for a while now and they're known for their high quality remote call recording. Their recent purchase of competitor Squadcast has only improved their position in the market, but let's talk about what that might mean for you. To start, it's worth mentioning just how many tools are available. Descript is actually the opposite of Riverside. While Riverside is for recording, Descript is meant for editing, and they've been quietly building a wide range of interconnected tools to give you as much power as possible. You can use their Zapier integration to connect pretty much any application, and honestly, their host of AI editing features is impressive. Because of the focus on editing, Descript suffers from the opposite issues as Riverside, with their recording features being iffy to okay at best. And though it features an absolutely beautiful interface, Descript can be a bit of a pain to get running because of all of the additional add-ons and features. Unlike Podcastle, where everything's all in one place, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the number of options and strange names with different services and apps. Overall, I would recommend Descript from an editing and pricing perspective as it's just one cent more per month than Podcastle. If you're looking to edit your existing audio that was recorded in a different software, Descript might be a good fit for you, but keep in mind, they are not the full package. And last, but certainly not least, the godfather of audio recording for podcasts, trash indie albums, and everything in between. Audacity began its life in 1999 as a college project. Since then, it has been downloaded over 110 million times. But does it still hold up? Even in 2024, Audacity is no looker, and it's definitely a bit of a pain to get used to. Seriously, if you can figure out how to use it, you can probably also pilot a spaceship blindfolded. But it's also completely free, and it's the origins of a lot of the podcasting software that we talk about in this video. Now, do I think you should use Audacity in 2024 for your podcast? I do not. But it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking into getting into music production in the future or if you just want to mess around with the grandfather of podcasting softwares. In this video, we've covered five different podcasting platforms from the very robust to the practically featureless. But how do you figure out which one is right for you? Well, if you want to jump right in and get started with no tutorials, be able to do things completely on your own, I hate to say it, but Podcastle's your top choice. Unlike some of the softwares on this list, Podcastle makes team collaboration a breeze and it balances a wealth of AI features with ease and consistent performance. 
And when you're done, you can publish your podcast right on Podcastle or to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else you wish to publish your podcast. Use the promo code in the description for 50% off your first month of Podcastle Pro. And while you're still on YouTube, don't forget to check out our full Podcastle tutorial from recording all the way to publishing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.